So uh, you can avail this level by clicking on this particular link. Payment can be made by clicking on this particular link. So if you have enrolled for this batch, great. If not yet, so you can just click on this link and you can just make the payment and you can enroll yourself for this batch. So if you want to share feedback, you can just fill this form and we'll receive your feedback. You can just click on this link and you'll get to know about your batch details completely over here. In case you have any further query, you can just email us over here, support at the rate of .com, or you can drop us a WhatsApp message on these two particular numbers and we'll reach you back soon. So in case, as I told you already, that in case you find an internet glitch, you can just watch us live on this Facebook also, okay? So uh, your mentor is already here, so we'll not take much time. I will request I said to just give a brief introduction about himself. Yeah. All over to Zarek, sir. Uh, thanks, Pooja, ma'am. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm able to see Sohan and Kasik. So, see, my, myself, Tariq Ahmed, and uh, I have been in this profession for 23 years now. This is the 23rd year. Right? So, I have teaching experience of last 22 years. And normally, I start taking classes from grade 8 and take it up to plus 2 level. Right? So right now at uh, Olympiad Success, I have been conducting classes of uh, eight, uh, 9, 10, 11. And hopefully 12 will also be there in this session. So what is the plan for the classes? See, we always just start from the basics, right? First of all, we touch all the syllabus which you will learn in your class, in your school, for your school examination. So those are the basic, uh, basic level uh, content. So we start from there and then gradually we enhance the level of the content and take it up to Olympiad level one and level two. So all these questions we finish here, uh, you, you will get 55 classes, right, for that. And uh, all the content are already prepared. So in next 55 classes, we will start from the basics and take it up to level two. And if you all are committed, if you all are listening uh, to us and following our instructions, then definitely you will achieve your goals for that you are here. So I think that is enough for right now. I will again uh, come, come to you after some time and Pooja ma'am will uh, finish the, um, her part. Right? Then I will give a little bit of demo of some questions. Okay, over to you Pooja ma'am. Thank you so much, Alex, sir. So let me share my screen with you all. Just good to go. Hope my screen is visible to you all. Yes. Okay, so as you know that this demo is of grade 8 mathematics. So Olympiad Success is India's largest online preparation platform for, for Olympiad examination. It's India's first exclusive live classes for Olympiad preparation. It is one of its kind year program that includes courses that matter. So these includes eight courses, people's program. Subjects are mathematics, English, science, logical reasoning, communication, spoken, and written Vedic math and coding. So we do provide one-on-one -on -one online CBSE, ICAC, IGCSE, and IB classes for grades 2 to 12. One-on-one -on -one preparation classes for international mathematics, Olympiad, SESMO, SEMO, HKMO, TIMO, Math Counts, US Common Core, Math Competition, Math Kangaroo, and PRM. So the, you can meet our rank holders on the screen of year 21, 22. They are kids like you only. So if you also work hard, you will also pay well. Your picture will also come like this in the rank holders. So for that, you just need to spare two hours every day extra from your regular studies, okay? So as you know, live, uh, live Olympiad sessions are included. Group sessions with around 20 students delivered through Zoom by our seasoned tutors. The session will be three days per week. So days are Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Timings will be 6.30 p.m. till 7.45 p.m. with five minutes of break. The session includes a mix of theory, practice questions, doubt sessions, and discussions on previous year papers. Students will get reading material and practice questions, which will be available on the dashboard of Olympiad success. Students will get a free access to Olympiad success platform to practice topic-wise mock tests for both math and reasoning as a logical reasoning constitute 10 to 15% of the questions. The objective of this session is to provide introduction to the entire curriculum and give sufficient headway to the student compared to their peers. 
So these all are the relevant links. No need to worry. Links have been already pasted in the chat box and we'll again be pasted in the chat box. So first link is of syllabus link. You can avail the syllabus by clicking on this particular link. These for this course is 12,264 rupees. This is a 55 session course. Payment can be made by clicking on this particular link. The fees include online classes, daily reading notes, and exercises practice of previous year papers, access to long period success platform for mathematics plus logical reasoning. There'll be no refund for the same. So what all you need is a laptop or desktop with good internet connection, with good camera clarity, with a good better picture, and audio clarity. <clears throat> What all you have to do is, as I told you already, you have to just pay two hours every day extra from your regular studies. So regular classes are going to charge from Saturday, that is 11th of May. So hope you all both are clear with the details. So let me take you through the platform, dashboard platform. Hope my screen is visible to everyone again. You have to just enter the URL, olympiadsuccess.com. This page will pop up on your screen. So what you have to do is you have to just enter your correct user details. These details you'll get it from us the moment you'll enroll with us. Make sure that you enter correct user details, otherwise you'll not be able to log in. So after entering your details, you will get this page on your screen wherein these are personal details. You have to just check your details properly. In case you get any, any error, you can just rectify it over here and you can click on update button for the updation. So after this, you have to just click on live classes. By clicking on live classes, you'll get this page on your screen wherein you have to select your specific subject. For which specific subject, you want to see the material. So you have to select it over here along with the topic. For which specific topic, you want your material. So you can see I've clicked on the topic. So I get this redeem field plus question papers and answer keys on the screen. So here is a schedule. The schedule will give you the clarity in which session we are going to follow a specific topic. So each and every PDF is downloadable. You have to just click it over here, click here to download the PDF and you will be able to access it. So you can download the PDF. You can keep it saving your device that you want to see it later on. You can do it. So you can see their complete detail is mentioned over here in the session we are going to go with which topic. Okay, so after this, there is a holiday calendar. This will give you clarity that you should not take unnecessary leaves because already we do have flexible holidays. So here is a material. You can just click it over here, and you you are good to go for your topic. Set number two. So each and every PDF is downloadable. You have to just click it over here, click here to download the PDF and you are able to download your PDF and keep it saved. Set number three. And here you go for set number four. All right. So now I'll show you the question papers and answer keys. So this will give you the practice brush up your concept. So you can see there are so many questions in each and every set for your practice. So there is an answer key also to check whether you have done correct or wrong. But I'll advise you that you just take out the printout for question paper first, solve it, and then check your answers. Don't take out the printout for printout of answer key federally. Okay, here you go. Step number two. Answer keys. So you can see each and every topic is having a different number of sets. Answer keys. Set number four. Here you go for answer keys. Set number five. This way you can have a lot of practice and you can access each and every set easily. Okay, now, and all answer keys are available here. All right. 
so now i'll take you to the worksheet area where you can do the practice but yes your final phase bhi jiske hisab se kiya jata hai so worksheet icon is available over here right under this dashboard button you have to select it over there you have to select your subject from the specific subject you want to see and you are good to go for a temptation you have to just click on take exam while clicking on take exam you'll get this instructions on your screen wherein you have to read your instructions carefully that you should not commit any mistake while attempting your worksheet okay so click on start worksheet make sure that you attempt your questions carefully that you should not commit any mistake so while attempting first question you have to move on next question for that you have to click on next button So in this way, you have to keep on moving on next questions. So keep on moving on next button. Once you have attempted all the questions, fifty questions, you have to submit your worksheet. For that, you have to just click on finish button. But before that, you have to just review all your questions. That whether you have done correct. In case you find any error, you can just rectify it before submitting your worksheet. Okay. So click on finish button. Yes, I will read all the questions, and you are good to go. Make sure that you submit your worksheet. Otherwise, you will not be able to see your performance with how you have performed in attemptation of worksheet. This is a feedback page you can give. Otherwise, you can click on later button also. So for the form. Second, me. So I'll click on view button to see the result. That how I have performed. So I attempted two questions. Wherein one is correct, one is wrong. Okay. So click in click on review button to get to know that which answer is correct, which is wrong. So here is here are the answers. Points. Okay, so this is all about dashboard and worksheet. You'll get to know your worksheet. Then you can have a more practice in performance. You'll get to know that how you have attempted the worksheet in live classes. You'll get to know your reading material, your question papers, and answer keys, schedule, and holiday calendar. Okay, you have to just enter the login details and you're good to. This is all about your course and your dashboard tour. If anybody is having any doubt, drop it in the chat box. I'll be happy to answer your queries. You are both are okay. Just write. Uh, show me thumbs up in the chat box if you both are okay and we are good to go for the demo. Then I'll hand over to Karik sir. I'll not take much time. Are we good to go? So, Han, do you have any doubt? Kaushik, do you have any doubt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. or it's all clear. Okay. All right, Alex sir. All over to you. They don't have any doubt. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, as ma'am asked earlier, that uh, which topic you both like? So, I think Kaushik said fraction, and Sohan, I think you said uh, uh, algebra, right? Am I right? Cost second one. Okay. So fraction, you may have learned this part fraction in class six and seven, right? So same topic is there in class eight, but the name of this topic is now known as you may have heard about it. Rational number. Rational number. Do you have heard about this? Any idea? So on. Okay. So, do you know the definition? Definition of rational number. Cost second so on. Any idea of the definition of rational number? Yes or no? Okay. So I am writing here. a number of the form c by q where q not equal to 0 is called a rational number it is denoted by capital letter q so this is the definition of rational number a number which can be written in the form of p by q and p by q is the form we can call it a fraction right 
So any number which can be written in this form, that number is called rational number. For example, 2 over 3. It is in the P by Q form. So this is a rational number. Minus 5 over 4. This is also the P by Q form. So this is the example of rational number. Can you tell me 7, 1 over 3? Is it a rational number? 7, 1 over 3? So I'm saying no. What's it? No. No. It, 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 you know, you, you may have learned it earlier that it is the example of mixed fraction. Right? This is mixed fraction. So we can write it. This is 22 over 3. 22 over 3 can be written in the mixed fraction 7 1 by 3. So, yes, this is also a rational number written in the mixed fraction form. Its value is this one. Correct? Okay. My next question is what about 5? Is it a rational number? So, I'm saying yes. What about cos 6? Cos 6 is. 5 a rational number? Yes. Okay. How you come to know? Yeah, so one has written now. 5 over 1. Yes. 1 is missed there. So we normally we do not write 1 when it is there at the denominator, right? So but 1 is, is still there. So it is of the form P by Q. So yes, it's a rational number. What about 0? Is it a rational number? Yeah, it's 0 by 1. So it's also a rational number. Minus 2. Is it a rational number? Yes, it's a rational number. So a number of the form P by Q, where Q should not equal to 0. This is the condition. We can't put 0 here. Now, why this condition is there? What happens when we put 0 at the denominator place. What happens? Any idea? Sohan Kaushik. I guess Sakti is also there. You should uh, turn on the camera, Sakti. Yeah. Then you can interact with me. Uh, Sorry, you are not audible to me because you are mute. You can you can write in the chat box in fact. Since it is a demo class and in the demo class, speaking is not allowed. But in the normal class, it is allowed. Right now, you can write in the chat box if you have any query. Okay, so. 5.0, the condition says we cannot put denominator as 0. Because as soon as we will put 0 there, it will be undefined. It will be undefined. Means, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Shakti is not there with you. She is not there for the demo. Okay, Shakti is there. Okay. So, when denominator contains zero, it becomes undefined. Now, what is the meaning of undefined? See, what we learn in mathematics, that is in fact proved by the mathematicians earlier, right? They have defined like two, two, three. These are the defined values. You can say, you are looking one teacher right now, teaching you. I'm able to see two students, right? Right now. So one, two, any value that is defined. But there are some values which is undefined. We can't say how much its value is. For example, if we say, how many hairs are there in your head? Can you give me a proper number? Can't? If I'm asking the same question, how many stars are there in the sky? Can you count? No. 
you can say many you can use the word many in in english right but that is not the exact value if i ask what is how many droplets are water droplets are there in the oceans so can you give me a number no the num the numbers we can we, we are unable to count they are uncountable right so since mathematicians has not given a particular number for some values so we call in mathematics those values as undefined values because their values are not known to us so when we divide a number by zero it becomes undefined and we write it like this and it is read out as infinity this is read out as infinity and it also known as undefined value so we can write undefined and we can use this notation this notation is used to show infinity and infinity means a very very large value so large so large that its exact value is unknown this is the meaning of infinity so when we define divide a number by zero we get infinity and since the value of infinity is not defined by the mathematician so we call that it is in fact undefined now i am showing you more why it becomes infinity why it is undefined i am going to show you that it's interesting one see i have taken the number 10 in the numerator and dividing this number by 100 right when we divide 10 by 100 we will get 1 by 10 which is equal to 0.1 right fine okay now now see i wanted to know right what will happen if i bring zero here at the denominator place that is uh, that is my goal to find out so i am going to bring it closer to zero so that we can see we can see how the values are changing not going to re, not going to bring zero at once one by one gradually so keeping the numerator same i am decreasing it 100 to 10 right now earlier the value was 100 suppose zero is here and it is 100 here so now i brought the value to 10 suppose 10 is here so now i come closer to zero denominator is now closer to zero what would be the value of 10 by 10 1 it will become 1 right what we see we see i have decreased the value 10 from 100 the net value increased 10 times 0.1 to 1 10 times increasing here i have decreased it 10 times it is increasing here 10 times is still denominator is not zero our goal is to find out what will happen if denominator is zero that we are trying to find out i am going to decrease it more keeping the numerator same writing one here now one suppose one is here so i bring the value more closer to zero than 10 10 10 1 what would be the next value net value that would be 10 see i decrease 10 to 1 here we find that value increase from 1 to 10 correct is still denominator is not zero denominator is not actual actually equal to zero but values goes to 10 now again i am going to decrease it suppose 0.1 here 1 0.1 is more closer to zero than 1 so 0.1 we will find 
that this value will be net value will be 100 now it increased to 100 here i decreased it it reaches to 100 still denominator is not zero but now the value is net value is 100 for the same fraction if only i am changing the denominator again going to reduce it 0 0.01 this is more closer to 0 than 0 0.1 what will happen? The value will go to 1000. Now see, it again increased. But the denominator is not zero still. And the value goes to 1000. If I again decrease it, suppose 0, 0, 0, 0001, right? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So here it will be five zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4 and five, this, this would be the value, correct? Now see, the denominator is not equal to zero. It is closer to zero, right? It is not equal to zero and the value goes to lack or more than that. If I still decrease it, suppose by two zeros, it will increase by two zeros. If I still decrease it, by two more zeros, it will increase by two more zeros. Now it's a very, very big value, very large value, right? Still denominator is not a zero and the value reaches to a very big value. That's why if we put, bring it closer to zero or exactly zero, it would be so large so large that we are unable to count. That's why when a number divided by zero, we call it undefined. Or we write it this symbol, which, which is infinity. Point. Okay. So this was the explanation of the condition why we can't keep a zero in the denominator, which was in the definition of a rational number, that a rational number is of the form p by q, but q must not be zero. Okay, now I am going to write, take a question, which is asked in some Olympiad paper. And I wish you can, if you want to solve it, you can solve it. Have you solved a question similar to this? Do you know how to solve this particular question? If you have solved it earlier, then only you can solve. But if you are looking this question for the first time, then definitely I will have to explain. So tell me, have you seen this type of question earlier? Class 6, Sohan? No. This question, a question similar to this, is already asked in the Olympiad paper. So I'm showing it, how to solve this one. See, in this type of question, we have always to start from the denominator, always from the last term, here. One plus one by two, two, two plus one, which is, which is equal to three by two. So its value is in fact three by two, then, Coming to this, 1 upon this value, that is 3 by 2, right? This can be written as 2 by 3. 2 will go up. See, I am showing you the property. If the fraction is of the form A by B by C, then it can be written as A by B into C. If the fraction is A by B by C, C will go up, A into C by B. And if the fraction is like this, A by B, C by D, we can write A by B into D by C. These are the three properties. You should copy it. You won't get this property anywhere in the book. Okay, see what it is saying. 
if above the main fraction right in the numerator part a fraction is there a fraction is there in the numerator then that b which is in the denominator comes down so it can be written as a upon b into c but if there is a fraction in the denominator in the numerator only one number and in the denominator there is a fraction b by c then c will go up then c will go up and if there are fraction in numerator as well as denominator then it can be written in this form now tell me which rule this should follow rule 1 or rule 2 one or two show me by your finger one or two one over 3 by 2 2 correct so it will follow the second one a over b by c c will go up so 2 will go up so 2 by 3 this is the value now we have the value of b term one over this this is equal to 2 by 3 now 2 need to be added so 2 plus 2 by 3 Taking the LCM, six plus two, it is eight by three. Now we have the value of whole this, right? This is equal to eight by three whole. Then one over eight by three. One over eight by three. What should I write here? Tell me. I should follow the rule one or rule two. Here. First or second? Which one? One over eight by three. First one or second one? Obviously, it is similar to this. So, second one, three will go up. Three into one by eight, which is three by eight. Now we have the value of these all, right? These all that is equal to three by eight. We need to add one in it. One plus three by eight. LCM is eight. Eight plus three. It is eleven by eight. Now we have the value of all these terms, right? Then this one, two over eleven by eight. What should I write? What should I write? Two eleven by eight. What should I write? Obviously, it will follow this rule. Right, so two into eight by eleven, the final value is sixteen by eleven, and this is the answer. So, this is one of the important question already asked, and similar to the the question is asked in the Olympiad too. Fine. Do you understand this explanation? Okay, so I am writing another one similar to this. You should solve and tell me the answer. One by one plus one by two plus one by one plus two by three, and then plus plus one by right. One by two minus one by two minus one by one plus one by two. See, two terms are there. Solve this term independently. Solve this term independently, and then add them. In the end, you will get the answer. Try this. I'm waiting.
See, I'm showing it. 1 plus 2 by 3. 3 plus 2 by 3, which is 5 by 3, right? We get the value of this one. Then 1 by 5 by 3. Obviously, 3 will go up. It is 3 by 5. Now we have the value of these terms. Need to add 2 here. 2 plus 3 by 5. So 10 plus 3 by 5, which is 13 by 5. So its value is 13 by 5. 1 by 13 by 5. And this is in fact 5 by 13. We get the value of this 5 by 13. 1 plus 5 by 13. It is 13 plus 5 by 13, which is 18 by 13. Right? We get the value of this. Then 1 by 18 by 13, and it is 13 by 18. So its value we are getting 13 by 18. Its value. Now we need to solve this one. Let's start from here. 1 plus 1 by 2, which is 3 by 2. Right? Then 1 by 3 by 2, it will be 2 by 3. Then 2 minus 2 by 3, 6 minus 2, 4 by 3. We get the value of this all, 4 by 3. Then 1 by 4 by 3, it is 3 by 4. Right? Then 2 minus 3 by 4, 8 minus 3, 5 by 4. We get the value of this. Then 1 by 5 by 4, it is 4 by 5. So the value of second term is 4 by 5. Right? Now, we can add 13 by 18 plus 4 by 5. Right? Here we have to take the LCM 90, 18, 5, ja, 5, 13, ja, 65, 5, 18, 18, 4, ja, 72, 137 over 90. This is the answer of this particular question. Okay. So I explained one particular question, which is already asked in the Olympiad paper, right? And uh, in today's demo class, also I explained that one. It is one of the important questions to be asked for Olympiad paper. So since it was a demo class, right? So now the time is up. Uh, I show you something regarding, I explain you regarding uh, rational number, right? And we come to know why that condition is in the form P by Q, why Q is not equal to zero. I explained that also. And then we solve one particular question of Olympiad. So do you have any doubt to ask right now? Anything you want to ask if there is something in your mind? There are 55 classes, right? And uh, we have different worksheets. Normally, we covered all those worksheets during the classes. And uh, we always start from the basics, as I said earlier. And then gradually, we take, take it up to level one and level two. Fine? So enough for today. Hope you all enjoyed the demo class. Bye for now. Take care.